this is Alonzo. Uh, uh, hi. Welcome to the Ready Wigs DVD. Yay! You got the Ready Wigs. You got the Ready Wigs. A Ready Wig, Ready Wig, Ready Wig. Uh, okay, I'm not Alonzo. Okay, alright, hold on, wait a minute. i go get Alonzo. Hold on. No, tell him I'm not home. Oh, uh, sorry, he said he's not home. <laughs> sorry, uh, no, this is Alonzo right here. Alright. Hey, hi, hi, this is Alonzo right here. Hi, how you doing? Good. <laughs> this is, uh, thank you for joining the Ready Rigs DVD. And, uh, uh, we got lots to talk about right here. Uh, no, that's not, no, ignore the guy. <laughs> ignore the guy behind me sweating profusely. Uh, he just, uh, uh, yeah, um, no, uh, hi, hi, hi. Uh, this is our man. Hi! Uh, uh, thanks for, uh, buying our DVD here. And, uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun rigging and having a good time. So, uh, lighten up. Lighten up a little bit. Uh, take a few breaths. Uh, hold on, let me move my arm a little bit. I got a little rheumatism. <laughs> This is having fun. <laughs> Sorry, I just got out of the shower. Whew. And it's kind of warm. At least I got a coffee. Starbucks, of course, but. Anyway, it's good I like now. I got some big contracts coming, so. So, uh, you know, it's good. I can use a laugh, too. <laughs> and so, I knew I was going to do something like that eventually. Actually, the DVD is done. I'm getting ready to put everything on there and mail it. I want to say uh, hello and thanks to the Electric Image team. Um, and guys, have some fun. Uh, I just want to say a couple of things about dealing with this DVD is that uh, it's good. I've studied hundreds of DVDs. I spent money, I spent my last dime on a DVD. Sorry, I don't feel sorry for you. <laughs> if this is just, you know, uh, what I'm doing is compacting four years of headaches and, and trouble and all of that stuff into this stuff. I mean, I have spent so much time going through this stuff and there, a lot of it is just really tricks and sometimes EI, you know, EI changes a little bit from each version. And so, you know, once you learn something, you gotta relearn it again and stuff like that. So just think of this, you know, I mean, this is four, four years. I mean, I don't know how long the DVD is. It's like over, I'm like at the limit of four gigs. And, uh, but I've, I've taken over four years to study. I left New York. Uh, in New York, I used to be um, a computer graphic specialist for Philip Morris. I used to uh, uh, do, um, I ran a department up there. I had my own business. You know, cigarettes are bad. The job was good. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, I also did, um, uh, I also did, uh, ran my own business before I went in. I did industrial design. I used to teach in uh, several college. I used to do private training, private teaching. I've gotten away from that. So, you know, working on a DVD, I realized, oh, this is, uh, I haven't taught in a while. But, but uh, you know, I know what I'm doing. And you really have a really good rig after you're done. I would, I would animate with it. I've animate with a lot worse rigs. The one thing I, I did, didn't realize is when I was, when I started to do the DVD, I realized like, whoa, there's a lot more things that I would feel better about if I knew that you knew. If I, I felt more comfortable knowing that where well, I've said this and I'm not just coming out of left field with some other principle that is an underlying rule to something. So I did kind of back up a little bit and go over some fundamental things. And I think that's the great thing about this DVD. Now, there's no uh, spine or anything. And... Uh, uh, so, uh, which is good because then you don't have to deal with it because I deal with three or four spines. With this DVD, you can go and do, probably do any kind of spine you want and just understand where to go. You, If you ever had any problem with any other rig stuff that you bought before, you can do that successfully now because you understand what's going on with this. So, 
Again, what I found out is that when I got into the DVD, it took a lot longer. I went on about a lot more things. So it's not a, just a straight one, two, three steps. It's more or less, you know, teaching you how to fish instead of just tossing you a fish. And you can only do one kind of rig. And that's, that's not the case with I'm teaching you how to fish so you can go into any pond and do uh, catch any type of fish, you know, so to speak. So uh, those are, those, that's the way to view it. So the way I have studied a lot of DVDs, the way I have dealt with it, and believe me, I've spent unemployment, my last unemployment check. So, so I, I haven't looked at unemployment in a long time, so I'm okay with that now. But, you know, it was worth it. It was so worth it. It was worth some of the times that I, you know, had the tears and the struggles and couldn't figure stuff out and had to pray about certain things. <laughs> I'd say all the time that that rigging or 3D graphics makes me a holy man because it keeps me on my knees praying. <laughs> God help me with this, you know. So I'm really just thankful that uh, I got past those hurdles and I can share it with you. And so this is going to be a lot of things that just were just problems for me that uh, I was able to get around. And if I could show you, when you get to those problems, you're going to like know what there is. I really honestly think that you don't even have to do this rig. You could just watch the DVDs and then start to do what you need to do. And, and I recommend it. You know, just watch them. You know, you don't really even have to do it. But it's always good to do it. You know, there might be just that little tidbit of information that you had a problem before. And so a lot of the things that, that are going to be in the DVD as well are going to be things that will just help you with doing 3D graphics. It's not specifically rigs. You know, it's things about constraints that are weird. You know, uh, things about the different linking that are weird. Things about textures. Like I said, I use ZBrush a lot, so uh, my workflow is always changing. So I'm doing this DB now to kind of put it, freeze it in time, and that's it. Next thing, we're going on to something different. It's going to probably change. So, I, But it's still good to know when you have that background knowledge, it's just more for you to drown on. It's just deeper roots for you. So it's just really good. Uh, but my workflow is such that I use ZBrush. I use, Z, I, I'm getting away from any other kind of model or, uh, except for hard body surfaces. Uh, but ZBrush is just a great cage. Simplified cages. I, I go through workflows. I, I t look, try to look at it all as a set. And I recommend that you, you know, if you if you do that, then go ahead. I, I would suggest that there's one thing that keeps burning in my mind. It's about in cage. And it's like there's some texture problems. And the way to get around it is if you subdivide something, paint it while it's put the texture on it while it's subdivided and then I'll put the low res and then res it back up then it suits back in so those are things to be aware of you know um, and then I, I can't put my finger and say that's a a, a, a DI problem or if that's a, just a subdivision problem or if that's an cage problem I like to thank Igors Igors and all the programmers have been supportive with, with me I recommend that you support them. And EI is an awesome application. I love EI. I have such a hard time moving to other applications because just for the simple fact that I loved it, it's been a friend to me. It has taken me way up the ladder in corporate America. I just, uh, just have been a really big help. And, and so I get to the top of the ladder and I decide I want to go down and go in a different direction. So whatever. But uh, it's, it, those are working really well now, too. So, uh, so again, I would highly recommend if you just want to get, and this is a big thing, and I think this is coming to my 10 minutes. If I knew what I knew now about rigging, if I understood the whole big picture, I would have done animations, like probably like Key, uh, Keith Lango. I would have had finished animations in electric image before I move on to something else. I couldn't recommend that more to you guys. If you're using electric image, you're thinking about going to Maya, learn electric image, do some animations. Uh, electric image is a very good animator and the way you use the interface has everything to do with how ease of use you can use for anime. You can cur curtail electric images uh, interface so well to help you and facilitate your animation so well that it makes 
animation a joy. I mean, sweet. So, so to the point where you just don't want to use another animator because it's just so nicely uh, definable. There are things that could be better. Now, I've noticed some uh, rig problems, uh, some weight map problems, somewhat. It could be better. There could be things that help optimize the workflow. But really, I think Electric Image is just, if you need to do animation, if animation is in your heart, not TD, not specifically to be a technical director or rig person or, uh, you know, any uh, specifically a modeler or anything, Electric Image is a great environment and in interface to pursue that dream to reach those goals.